What's up, Movie Geek Griff here. Um, these are actually reviews for last year, 2019. Uh, haven't done my first review of 2020 yet. Happy New Year. That's probably going to be uh, 1917. It's in the Sam Mendes uh, picture, World War One picture. Oh, I froze there for a second. Anyway, um, so this is the second time I'm doing this review because the first time I did it, um, I was on mute. It recorded, but the mute, all these buttons on here, it was on mute, so it didn't record everything. So I got to do it again. And of course, it's not going to be as cool because it's not authentic anymore. I'm trying to remember the stuff I did in the last one. Go figure. Yeah, recorded it. It was an error. And I was like, what is that error? And I went back and played it, and I was talking with no sound. So I was like, oh, volume's off. Got to do it again. Anyway, all right. Um, so the first one is um, Richard Jewell. Yeah, Richard Jewell. Uh, Clint Eastwood film. <clears throat> How can I get the magic back from the first review? I can't. Just move on. Um... I lived through Richard Jewell, the Centennial Olympic bombing um, in 1996. I was 12th grade, graduating high school. Uh, I was all over the news. I had actually worked downtown somewhere. I think it was a stadium, though, at uh, the Summer Olympics. Um, it wasn't Centennial Olympic Park. And I think it was before it happened, because if it had happened, I don't think I would have game, gone back downtown to work. Um, so it happened, happened af after I had worked. It was only like one day, or maybe it was a week, or three days, something like that, but it happened after. Anyway, so the movie, um, it was pretty good. It was better than I thought. I like, of course, with when they do uh, retellings of real events with cinema movies, there's, you know, embellishments and cinematic license, creative license, they're gonna, they're gonna... Turn it up, up to 10 or 11, something didn't happen. It comes with the territory. But um, it's interesting to see that the behind the scenes, the goings on that happened with Richard Jewell. Uh, the guy that got the plan, I don't know who he is. I think he's a newcomer or a fairly new newcomer, and he was surprised he got the part I read recently. He did a good, he did a good, um, he, he did the role well. I don't, the goofy, kind of oblivious, kind of wannabe, wannabe cop. I don't know if the real Richard Jewell was like that in, in person. I can't remember the interviews. I can't remember that, that doofusy, uh, slow, but he came across as such in the movie. But he kind of knew what was going on, but he didn't let you know until like almost uh, two thirds of the way through the film. He had a, um, uh, he had a tete a tete. He had a, getting it all out on laying all the cards down on the table with his lawyer, Sam Rockwell, about, you don't think I know what they're doing, what they're saying about me, and how they you know, think I'm a wannabe cop, and yada, yada. He went on and on. I was like, that was, that was a pretty good part. That was a pretty good scene, because the whole time you're thinking, is this guy, this dummy, he was talking to the cops. He's like, he really believed in the system, and the system was trying to railroad him, and he didn't get it, or in that scene, he said, I did get it, but all I can do is do what I do, and if, you know, I can tell the truth, so like, so it's pretty awesome. Um, all the supporting characters are pretty good. John Hamm was in there. Uh, Sam Rockwell, Kathy Bates, wonderful, awesome Kathy Bates from Misery. Um, she was his mom. Um, great, just a good movie. Uh, give it a B minus, two point nine oh stars, almost three stars. Um, I had some issues with. I saw Clint's last movie, Mule, with him in it, being a drug mule for the cartel. It was okay. Um, I didn't like. The one with the, he had the Vietnamese family or something next door. I think it was called El Camino. Camino. Some old car name. Anyway, he had done some stuff in real life and I was kind of like over Clint uh, for a while. This is pretty good though. So I would check it out. I think um, uh, Richard Jewell is worth checking out. It, it may not have the same effect or an impact on you if you weren't from Georgia or in Atlanta at the time that it happened like I was, but it's still a pretty good movie. Pretty interesting. All right, movie Griffin, I'm out. You guys take care.